Good morning dear students. I your EVS teacher Kajal Kamra. Today I'll be teaching you chapter number 9 that is flowers. We all love flowers. Flowers bring color to our lives. There are many different types of flowers. We send flowers to people on their birthdays, wedding anniversary and other important days. They are also used as a way of showing respect. So children, different flower symbolizes different things. See in the picture, the flower daffodils symbolizes a new beginning. Yes, daffodils that is a March birth flower symbolizes hope, birth and regeneration. White rose, a very beautiful flower. So children, what does white rose symbolizes? It symbolizes purity, innocence, young love and eternal loyalty towards someone. Yes? Star, red tulips and white tulips. Red tulips children symbolize love, while white tulips symbolize purity and innocence. Next we have marigold, another kind of beautiful flower. So what does marigold symbolize? It displays passion, creativity, prosperity, despair, grief and pain and to express sorrow to someone. Next we have white lilies. White lilies children symbolize sweetness. So children, flowers are an inseparable part of our life. Some flowers have a good fragrance also. Now I am going to explain you what are the different parts of a flower. Children, a flower has four main parts that are petals, sepal, stamen and carpel. Petals are brightly colored part of a flower to attract the insects. Sepal, these protect the unopened flower. Stamens, refer as the male part of a flower. And carpel, they are referred as the female part of a flower. If any one of these elements is missing, it is not considered as a complete flower. Children, we are going to discuss about some unusual shapes of flowers. Petals of a flower give the flower its shape. So, let us look at some unusual shapes. Funnel shaped, trumpet shaped, saucer shaped, tubular shaped flower, silver shaped flower, um shaped flower and bell shaped flower. Let us discuss about the different flavors of flowers. Chamomile and jasmine are the flowers they are used to make flavors for the tea. Children, let us discuss about the fragrance of flowers. So what is fragrance of flowers? Fragrance of flowers refers to the sweet smell that flowers have about them. And flowers are also used in aromatherapy. Aromatherapy deals with the practice of using fragrant and medicinal oil for improving health and emotional well-being. The fragrance of flowers can bring smiles to many. The fragrance of freshly picked flower children give pleasure to us. The lavender flower is used to produce the popular lavender oil that provides people good sleep and helps people to relax. Now, let us discuss about the uses of flowers in everyday life. So, flowers are used in paintings. Madhubani paintings are very famous in district of Bihar. During festivals and happy occasions, the walls of the houses of the people are painted with images of human beings, animals and trees. There are many other uses of flowers. As you can see that flowers are also used for decorations and making garlands. 
children flowers are commonly used in worship the term pushpanjali indicates worship with flowers tulsi is the most common flower that is used for puja in kerala temples lotus flowers are also used in all temples for special pujas all must have understood this chapter through this video thank you students and have a good day